On Monday, WSJ's Norm Malis visited Makmur, a town 30 miles from the Kurdish capital of Erbil. Kurdish forces retook Makmur on Sunday after having earlier lost the town to fighters of the Islamic State. The battle was followed by U.S. airstrikes on IS positions outside Makmur to suppress a counterattack. I'm at the latest front line between Islamic State fighters and the Kurdish Peshmerga forces in the town of Mahmoud. These fighters behind me say they were able to kick Daesh out after a three-hour ground battle that was then hours later followed by U.S. airstrikes. These fighters are in good spirit, even though they say that ISIS is just nine kilometers away. If it holds, it's one of just a few recent victories for the Peshmerga the official defense force of Iraqi Kurdistan, a semi-autonomous region in northern Iraq long considered Iraq's safest and most prosperous. The fighter's name means those who face death, and they have a reputation as Iraq's most potent fighting force. The Peshmerga are well trained, but are currently poorly equipped compared to IS fighters, who have captured a wide variety of military equipment from the Iraqi army. These soldiers at the Makmur front line stress their need for equipment to carry on the fight. When faced with an advance by Islamic State fighters over the last few weeks, many Peshmerga abandoned their posts or were told by commanders to withdraw. By August 8th, IS fighters had pushed to within 25 miles of Erbil. The Peshmerga retreats have dealt a blow to the notion of Kurdish security with international oil companies moving to evacuate non-essential personnel and U.S. jet fighters bombing IS positions close to Kurdish lines in a bid to halt the insurgents' gains. In June, Kurdish forces were initially able to capitalize on the Islamic State's lightning advance across Iraq to expand Kurdish territory by one-third, including the oil-rich city of Kirkuk, after it was abandoned by the fleeing Iraqi army. But some experts believe the Kurds stretched themselves too thin, defending its 620-mile-long border against insurgents, while taking in hundreds of thousands of refugees. This is the Foreign Bureau, WSJ's Global News Update.